Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Kosori Electric Gooseneck Pour Over Kettle. And you could use it for making coffee, tea, or to boil hot water. This is the model C0108-NK. It has five variable presets we're going to test on there. This is designed in California, and I have to tell you it's very attractive looking. It's not oversized. It'll really complement any counter space. It has 100% um, stainless steel, all food grade, anything that touches the water. And the lid also is stainless steel, uh, and the bottom is stainless steel. There's no Teflon or any other chemicals or products used on this. It has 1200 watts of power, comes with a two year warranty, and there is an included little sheet right here. And in there, it thanks you, tells you how to contact the company, how to extend that warranty also. Now this will hold 0.8 liter capacity or 27 ounces, which will satisfy most people's needs for a, a small cup of coffee or tea or a very large cup of coffee or tea. It will hold preset temperatures for up to one hour. And we're gonna show how to do that. It has very accurate temperature regulation um, so that it won't ever give you a temperature setting that's different than what you're expecting. And it uses a well-known company that provides the auto shut off and their temperature regulation. It's a British Strix company. They provide the thermostat and I got a slide showing that. This is also ETL lab certified, which is very important. And ETL is for electric telephone labs. It's the, it was invented by Thomas Edison. It's actually the oldest certification lab in the United States. So I want to show you the ETL labs. And you can see Intertech right there, they have a number. So it conforms to UL standards and that's a good sign that this is electrically very safe. Now this uses laser welding on the spigot and so that there is no leaks at all. And also it's very well balanced. Uh, with that spout being that and with the weight of the water here, we're going to test that and the angle of the handle it ends up being a very balanced experience. It's also very fast, 1200 watts. It'll uh, boil in five minutes, and we're gonna test that also. Uh, the company does provide a two-year warranty, as I mentioned, and a 90-day money-back guarantee. Now, also included is this very nice instruction booklet. It tells you how to clean the unit, and how to operate it, and how to use all of the presets. And then also on the handle right here has this nice little card talking about how you can go online and you could uh, register and look at some recipes and also add your own recipes. And it also has a quick note on how to clean this and descale it. Very nice. So we're going to test this, this uh, Kasori unit out, put it through its paces, take some measurements and see how well it does. Just wanted to show that the Kasori comes with a very nice three-prong US plug with a ground. Very heavy duty, very nice. And this actually is about three feet long, which is a lot longer than the other units I've uh, tested. So there's two things that the Kasari solved. I have a lot of uh, these water boilers that I've reviewed. And here's a really good one and a couple of issues. When you're going to use it, because of the awkwardness and the size of it, you end up hitting your coffee grounds and you have to be really precise. And when you try and be precise, you end up sometimes going on the side and spilling. And that's really frustrating. Another thing that I noticed with all these other units is when you go to put them back in place, they don't go back in place easily. You have to line them up. I mean, look at this. You have to line them up to get that to function. And that's kind of stressful and annoying in the morning. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have the Kosari plugged in. And I have the holder filled up with water up to the maximum line. And we're going to just, we're going to let that boil 
to clean that out. We're going to flush this out. So I'm going to turn the power switch on right there. And there's a little blue LED that comes on. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And let's go to boil, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit right there. And that lit up also. And I want to show how quickly this thing is already boiling. And I just started it, so I'm at 212 degrees and you can hear it. And you can see it boiling right inside there quite nicely. Now it's still boiling. I want to point out how it's going to shut itself down. There you hear those beeps and then the 212 LED turned off and the unit shut off. So it's an automatic safety feature. It turns itself off. Okay, so I have one of my largest cups that I drink coffee, which is full 20 ounces. And I have the water inside the Kasori, 20 ounces. And I have my coffee grounds set up in the, right here to percolate. Now I'm going to go turn it on and I'm going to go to coffee 205 degrees and I'm going to hit the whole temperature button on there. I'm going to set a little timer here. Start. Stop. Now one thing I want to point out is really a nice feature. If you lift this up to take some water and you bring it back within 60 seconds, it will continue boiling. So it just beeped. Boy, that was fast. I don't, that was really fast. That was a minute. And it beeped, and because I have the whole temperature on, it's going to maintain that temperature. So let's take a look at the water in here. Yeah, it's hot. So let's take this and let's pour it in right here. Now notice, I'm not even touching the stainless steel edge like I was before. Look at the preciseness you can do. And that's the beauty of this design. It makes it very easy. Let's remove this timer. It makes it very easy to pour. Now I can put this back on here within 60 seconds and it will maintain that temperature of 205 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the setting for coffee. Just so much easier to use. And the way this thing just cradles back on. And I want to point out that there is a maximum level lying right there. And the reason the words are reversed is because when you look inside the container, the word is maximum right there. And again, that maximum is 27 ounces. So as you can see, this thing is very functional. And it's just beautiful that it keeps maintaining that temperature as I go to pour it on coffee grounds. And just look how simple that is. And as you saw when it reaches that preset temperature, 205 degrees, it beat three times. So, what do I think about the Kasori, the electric gooseneck kettle model C0108-NK? I love this. Um, I'm going to start using this and replace the other ones that I have because this is just so much easier to use and I just love that spigot. As you see, it's very functional. So I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.